Hey, welcome back. I hope you've been having a good weekend. It's about to get a whole lot better because I'm going to have some keys and we're going to build the cat hotel. This is actually the beginning of the year release for Lego Friends and I've held off on building it because I fear I'm going to love it too much and I'm going to just want to do everything with it and turn it into like this massive cat mansion with all of my cat collection in it and that may still happen yet. So I'm very, very excited to be building this one. So details on the set. It's called the cat hotel <laughs> the cat mansion in my head already there are 445 pieces it's 50 dollars here in australia 30 dollars in the us and it's got did i mention it's got kitties in it yeah it's got three kitties i got three kitties too oh my gosh we're besties now this set and me okay right so yeah <laughs> we already need to lie down oh, but no okay so two mini dolls included in the set the first of whom is one of our new friends characters ollie he's wearing an outfit that we have already seen before but you know what that's absolutely fine because i love this i love his silver sleeves on his jacket his little o on the top corner his glasses his smile his really expressive eyebrows i just love everything about these new friends characters they are ultimately collectible i gotta tell you i will be collecting them all so we got ollie and ollie Ollie also has a cat. Who knew? Because we haven't built his bedroom yet. We don't know very much about him. So his cat, according to the building instructions, is called Gertrude, which is a perfect name. We can tell this is Ollie's cat because nice blue collar with with a, like an Ollie's O on it. Love the new face print. She's really cute. And you can fight me if you reckon that she's not a queen. She totally is, so she needs a crown. So we've got Gertrude. We've got Ollie. Oh, Ollie gets uh, a phone. <laughs> Forgot to give him his accessories because, you know, no no teenager goes anywhere without a phone these days. And he also gets a whip. No, he does not. He gets a fishing rod with a fish on it, which is a feels a bit bizarre to start with, but I think it's just not, he's not fishing. I think it's just a cat toy, like a cat teaser thing. <laughs> I hope that's what it is. Okay. All right. The second character is a brand new secondary friends character, brand new for this set and this season. She has the new, uh, well, newish medium brown skin tone, which Aaliyah also has. Her top could, like it's a new print. It could do with another layer of green, but I just love the intricacy of the, of the actual details on here. Brand new face print too. I love that we're getting more mini dolls with glasses it's so awesome and so her name is Naomi we've actually already had a Naomi in the Lego Friends verse before she was with the Cupcake Cafe she was actually one of my favorite mini dolls because of the little frackles but so new Naomi <laughs> new Naomi uh, hair is a new color a recolor for this style and I just love how we're getting all different like styles and ethnicities of hair pieces too there's another like chonka cat too in a recolor this one's all in like this is like you know how we have the grumpy 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 Chira Cat, Grumpy Chonka Cat. This one's like a little chocolate, chocolate Chonka Cat. <laughs> I love his little patty paws with the, like these got bitoned colours, a little tongue sticking out, and the knobs him. But he's also got a little tiny friend. Oh, we've seen this kitten before with the expressive eyebrows. This is the one in the diner set. So they have like actually the wanted sign out for this cat. So this cat's obviously got a story. So three cats which is really great two mini dolls and we've got to build the set now so cat hotel what even is that like i assume it is a cat boarding place where you can take your cat if you're going away on holidays so let's see what do we get so first up we get like little furniture builds to go into the actual hotel and cat furniture is <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna last for very long and I just love this detail that this sticker is this is gorgeous pink armchair but it has been scratched up uh, such a fantastic detail so you can see the exposed foam <laughs> underneath <laughs> so good so let's put Gertrude on here Queen Gertrude she's on her royal chair and we get another chair but a different variation once again pink so looks like maybe they had a set donated to the hotel <laughs> this is, you know secondhand furniture from the same little lounge suite set this one's also got the got the same scratched up yeah upholstery it doesn't you can't have anything nice when you have cats it's just it's just how it is so we pop cho oh, chocolate chocolate chunker on there i wonder if these other cats have names they probably do i just don't know them yet probably by the time they get given names and i know them i'll have my own head cannon for an hour i won't be able to remember it so this here is looks like we're making a cat tree like a cat climbing scratching post and these stacked up studs are really very smart because the texture of it looks just like the coiled ropes that goes around cat tree supports really simple but it's so you know it's smart let's put that little kitty up the top and now we have got so we've got two couches and a cat tree this is like maybe a little sleepy box of some sort 
Uh, it is <laughs> not. Okay, so this is, we got a poop and we got a wee. So this is the kitty litter box. And the fact that I'm just trying to get this straight, but I keep sticking my fingers in all of the unmentionable stuff is uh, slightly gross, but that's fine. So there's a kitty, you have to have the kitty litter box. It's important. So we've got some cat furniture so the cats can lounge. And we've got a toilet so that they get, you know, the cats are looked after. So let's get on with the building. We've got a red feeding tray here, a little bit of fencing, some jumper studs, so we're partitioning off an area with some fencing pink bit over here this is the front entryway so like a separating corridor maybe of the different sections so obviously when you put your cat in a cattery they don't all bunk in together because cats do not get along they are a hundred percent not besties even if they've been raised together they still yeah cats I mean, you gotta love them, right? <laughs> because they're so cute and furry with really sharp things on the end of their feet. So we've actually, we're actually making dedicated sections for each of these three cats, which is really cool. So we've got three different colored food bowls and we've got three little sections for them to chill in, which is really nice. And I reckon the jumper studs that are in there to, uh, to actually put the furniture in that we've already built so you can mix and match around who gets which furniture. So we'll just have to see. All right, so this looks like a little grass area, nice little, yeah, okay, little brick section. This is what we have left over at the end of this bag. We're on to bag number two, which is actually the bag that we got little chocolate, chocolate chonker out of, and Naomi. And because chocolate chonker is the cutest thing in the world, he gets a bow because it makes him pretty and he loves it. Okay, all right, chocolate chonker is absolutely sorted. So now we get back to the building. Blue line around on top of the brickwork. I just love that medium nougat brickwork. It's my favorite thing to build with. It's very authentic. And this is, we've got orange angled, upward angly bits. Oh, they're like steps, like little jumpy step things for the cats. And yellow window frames, no, yellow window glass in two different shades of blue window frames alternating. That looks really pretty. That's very pretty and so not boring, but yet not too much either. So we've got the same configuration here for the front, got the alternating window colors and, and glass color as well. That looks so nice. I would never have thought to have done that. We got some outward facing studs or like forward facing studs. So we're gonna be putting some interesting definition, I think, or even just some tiling out the front. But I like the fact we have window sills, which is really nice. We're gonna be putting something on that. Got the newish door with the with, with the cat flap, cat flap in this case, and the door handle, although cat flap's pretty, it's irresponsible to let your cat out and decimate the wildlife. So this is just for fun. Keep your cats inside where that they can be safe and the wildlife can be safe. Or have a dedicated enclosure to them. <laughs> I can have a whole rant about this. <laughs> but no, this is for fun. So, okay, we got the same windows. Oh, yep, same as the other side and more little outward facing studs. And on this side, we've got some more of those little sticky outy orange tiny little sitting spots, I suppose, for the cats. Oh, they're gonna love that. And some windows, no, because <laughs> the windows, no. Hold on, some flowers on the windowsill. That was where I was going. <laughs> Words, oh, so hard. Oh, okay, cool. So these curvy, like lumpy, pillowy things, alternating different shades of orange. I struggle so hard to get these on straight. Though, it must be an easier way to do it. I feel as though maybe I should take these off and push them against the table, but then they pop off. I cannot. If you know an easy way to get those on straight, tell me, but they look nice. They're okay. This is what we have at the end of this bag, and we're up to bag number three. It's already looking so vibrant. So this is the bag that little tiny kitty comes in, tiny kitty gets a flower for the kitty's head because the kitties must be pretty. The kitty's going to put up with that, like, for exactly five seconds before they shred it and then possibly shred the face of the person who put it on them. Ah, cats. <laughs> Little demons in furry suits of cuteness. Gotta love them. Okay, we got some nice big ledgery things here. These are the overhangs. Nice. Azure blue. Is it azure blue? I don't know. Very nice, vibranty colored blue for the window toppers. And this is the top of the actual build here. Obviously, it's mainly a facade. But we do get a bit of roofing and we get a cute little cat claim kind of area. That's so nice. Look, cats love doing that. They love being up high so they can leap on your head and scratch. <laughs> I'm seeing a theme here. My cats are actually quite mild. They do not. <laughs> they don't spend much time scratching me. Yet I know what cats can be like. So this looks like a little information-y kind of monetary thing for just checking what 
what pets had what at what time of day bit of teal roofing turquoise roofing on the top and then aligning it with some tiles and oh that's a windowsill on that side very pretty and this is now going to be there is a giant kitty topper very very cute but first up we need our cat hotel sign five stars very very nice i actually really like the graphics this year they're so <laughs> so nice there's even like their little uh little you know little wool balls there in like string kind of yeah the yeah just have a good look at the sticker on that cat hotel bit why do i have a spare took i must have missed that somewhere actually that you would think it would go up here but that isn't according to the instructions. I cannot find where this is supposed to go. Maybe it's in something in the next bag, but it definitely, that is not something you'd normally have as a spare piece. All right, next bag. Let's have a look, see. So what else do we have? We've got a whole outdoor area to be populated yet or to be built up, but this, this is not the outdoor area. This is the buildable cat sign for the top. And this looks so good in the actual pictures on the front. So let's see what it looks like actually putting it together. Got the little whisker bits. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. This bit goes up here. This is, these are the little ears, little angly ears. <laughs> these are just getting better and better, these signs, these buildable signs. This has got the sleepy cat logo on the top and a little heart for the nose. Absolutely perfect. I love how the designers are still sneaking little hearts into things, even though they're not as gratuitous as they used to be for Heart Lake City things, but they're still here, just like in little, little bits. And this, this sticker gives you the sleeping, the sleeping. Oh, it's the thing, like a little thought bubble. It's a little sleep bubble. That is adorable. That is such a cute sign. Oh my gosh. All right. So outside, <laughs> just, I want to keep talking about the sign. The sign is very cute. But outside, let's see what we've got outside. So we actually have a window to outside. So all of my, uh, <laughs> we're talking about how each of the cats have their own little section because cats do not get along it looks like they also have a communal section outside where they can come and play out here there's a yeah walkway across from the little arched window out to a tree which is just sublime it's such a really cute detail such good design so this is going this is a little tree branch we've got a butterfly on it on this claw it goes there you can angle your branch we've got a bowl with a few more noms in it so they can come out here for extra tree noms mm, there's nothing better than tree noms and this is for us to attach something on the back this is so cool this is like like i said this is not something that you could actually do because the cats would not come out they just come out they'd fight each other or just spend all their time going Arr! but I, I love this i want one of these at home for my cats that currently do get along this is a little Oh, so ladder and some more foliage. So we need to build two of these. I really appreciate the fact that all of the little loose bits of foliage, well, were previously loose in the past and you just knock them off when you pick it up. They're all held together with extra bits of foliage or with a little claw clip or something. So everything is nailed down or Lego down, which I, yeah, I really do appreciate that because yeah, I was knocking stuff off all the time. So we got a ladder going up the back so that you can get all the way to the top of this tree. It's like the ultimate cat tree, but it's a real tree. Oh my gosh, it's really cute. So you can come through this window. <laughs> you can come up the steps to get up there. And then this little one can be the king of the castle. So cute. Let's put Gertrude out here. And, and Chonka, Chonka Chocolate over here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, all right. So there are a couple more details still to put in. So we've got one more sticker left here on the sheet, which is the other picture for the cat food. Love this graphic. It's so cute. Look at that cat. Little prank cat. Could be like a little Sphinx cat. Uh, so that just gets stored here. And on this jumper stud out here, you got a green bin and a spade for cleaning the poops. Let's just put the spare poop in there. And very nice. Love how we got little cleaning facilities. So let's get the furniture in here. You can put this wherever you want it to go. But I think logically we'll put the sofas in here. But to get up to that little arch window, you'd want to put the cat tree here. Though if the cat tree is not here, then you can also just go up the side too. Because the designers have thought of everything. This is adorable. Out here is where the kitty litter goes. So they have to go out, keep their stenches outside, which would be lovely. That's really cute. All right, this is adorable. Absolutely adorable. Let's get Ollie in. There aren't actually any places for the mini dolls to stand really, because there's no jumper studs on the front bit because you need the door to open and there's no jumper studs here on the path. You could pop, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can pop a mini doll there, just attach them to the studs there, but 
I think that they're just kind of supposed to stand outside of the build, really. This is this builds for the cats, not for the <laughs> not for the people. All right, let's get the kitties in here. Get Queen Gertrude over here on the chair. Get Chocolate Chonker up here, ready to go through a little window. He will fit, won't he? Yeah, he will. Let's get them up here on the top, the tippy top bit. They can all <laughs> they can all fight over who gets dominion over the best spot up here. That's absolutely adorable there's so many details in this so many fun things for the cats to do all right i love it i really do think that there is going to be a cat mansion or i've been planning to do a too much cats or too many cats build for a very long time so with this cat well this cat build maybe as my basis i could start there oh i do have lots and lots of plans just not enough hours in the days and the weeks to execute them but anyway let me know what you think of the cat hotel as it currently stands five stars according to uh heart lake google so well, thumbs up here i hope that you feel the same way about it i certainly had a lot of fun building it all right yeah let me know do all the things and check back in because more videos are coming up soon so i will see you then bye